5 weather. Welcome back. Now that is a blue Colorado sky. It turned out to be a perfect afternoon around here at 68 degrees. Relative humidity certainly on the dry side at 15%. Low this morning in Pueblo 32. So you creased that freezing mark for the first time this season. 71 right now it really doesn't get any better than that with those beautiful blue skies. Here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow. Red flag warning, very high fire danger. Once again, our fuels are becoming tender dry very quickly. This red flag warning for El Paso County, Crowley County, out to Kiowa County. So as I mentioned earlier, you want to stay away from anything that could possibly spark a fire. If you see smoke, call it into law enforcement as quick as you possibly can. Not going to be the windiest day we've ever had to deal with by noon. I think we'll see gusts a little over 10 miles per hour here. Stronger winds in the area shaded in green, northern El Paso. Paso County out to the Kansas border. Those winds start to pick up at intensity by mid to late afternoon. Could see gusts around here 20 to maybe 25 miles per hour. So certainly not all that bad. And then those winds start to decrease in intensity around sunset tomorrow evening. Sky conditions. It is going to be a beautiful day again with lots of sunshine. Going to hit the 60s by 10 a.m. 70s by early afternoon. Staying in those 70s by mid to late afternoon. And again, you can see a dry air mass. Not a hint of a cloud from I-25 all the way out to those parched prairies of eastern in Colorado. Low temperatures tonight, cold, but not as cold in Colorado Springs as the past couple of nights. 36 tonight. Pueblo, I've got you right at the freezing mark once again and awfully cold across those high mountain valleys, but it's mid-October. It's supposed to be like that. Afternoon highs tomorrow. It is going to be warm. Afternoon high temperatures, 70s and even a couple of 80s showing up across parts of the viewing area. Here's that super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. Clear skies and again breezy to windy depending on your location. Temperatures though really warm for the rest of the week into the weekend. It's going to uh, get windy again by Saturday. Very high fire danger for us by Saturday. We'll no doubt see another red flag warning Saturday. Wind ramps up even more on Sunday. Could see gusts from 40 to maybe 50 miles per hour across parts of eastern Colorado. That's a product of the big strong storm system that's going to promise a little bit of moisture. Doesn't look like a big soak, but I think by late Sunday into early Monday morning, we could see a few rain and then possibly mixed with or changed to snow showers. Much colder next week once again. Pueblo, a lot of variety temperature wise you get 80s for the next several days and then got you dropping back into the 50s by Tuesday doesn't look like much in the moisture department but a few p.m. showers possible late on Sunday maybe continuing into early Monday morning temperatures will be noticeably cooler though early next week for Canyon City hang on to your hat tomorrow it's going to get a little gusty at times stronger winds Saturday into Sunday a little bit of moisture possible by late Sunday into Monday and for Woodland Park. Your temperatures unseasonably warm for the rest of the week into the weekend, but temperatures fall off dramatically next week. A few showers possible in the form of rain and then snow late Sunday into Monday morning. Michelle.